All right, what is going on, buddy? Welcome to a Miami Heat rebuild. I am a Heat fan. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. So this team is in need of a second star. Not really a second star, a second scorer. Because uh, as you saw in the playoffs, Bam Adebayo is not that second scorer, or at least he uh, decides he doesn't want to be. Uh, Kyle Lowry, I don't know if I'm going to keep him. I might get rid of him. He, As someone who watched almost all the Heat games. He He's very important to our team, but with how much he's getting paid, he's getting paid $30 million. It might not be worth it, so I might move on from him. And I might package Tyler Hero, who shouldn't be an 81 overall, but I'll let it slide. I think he's like an 85 or whatever in 2K now. But he's going to be up for his extension. I don't know why he says he has two years left. I'm not sure if he does. Uh, PJ Tucker... Uh, I might try and bring him back, might not, because he's iffy in 2K. Duncan Robinson's gone. He is a 100% gone. Other, the contracts are not right. Duncan Robinson is not on a contract for that long. So I'm actually going to, f yeah, no, these contracts are not right at all. So I'm going to find a better, uh, save file than this. That was terrible. All right, I think I found the right one. The end of the lottery is, a uh, very wrong, but I'll live with it. The actual rot lottery is, uh, correct. Uh, and there's no weird, the roster, these are the actual 2K ratings, I believe. Uh, the person I really, you know, look for is John Moran. He is a 94. For some reason, they have him as an 87. And Garland, they have as an 83 or whatever. So the ratings are correct. And we are at staff signing, so I'm not sure who won the championship. It is what it is. I don't care. We got Eric Spolstra. I'm fine with that. We have, I think, the 26th pick. In this draft, and I might try and package Duncan Robinson with that pick to try and get off of his contract. Uh, so I might package a second with it too, just for a team to maybe bite on it. This is not going to be realistic either, so this might be a trade right here. Two Grizzlies first round picks. Two Lakers first round picks might be the thing. I think two Lakers first round picks is definitely the best one. I'm definitely going to take They want another second round pick, but I'll take it. Get me off of Duncan Robinson's contract. We'll sim to the end. I want to rack up as many first round picks as possible because I am probably going to trade Tyler Hero. I don't want to, but I mean, why is Gabe Vincent at 74? Whatever. Uh, I don't want to, but I mean, we, we need that second option. And Bradley Beal, I'd love to have as that second option. So is Bradley Beal even here? Did he accept his option? I think Bradley Beal accepted his option. So I'm going to try and trade for him. And Omir Yurtsevin and Gabe Vincent. Nope, not even close. All right, kind of figured. Kind of figured. So what if I... Let me put Lowry in the trade finder. Even though I think Lowry can get us a solid power forward or something. It could also get us Chris Middleton. Okay. Uh, Chris Middleton's too easy to trade for in this game, to be honest. But I'm not seeing any trades. Two first-round picks from the Spurs as a salary dump isn't bad. Clay Thompson... Not going to do that trade. Clay Thompson at first. I'm not going to do that trade, though. That Those Spurs picks intrigue me because we can throw these into the Bradley Beal trade. I don't think I can get one more first-round pick, can I? Gabe Vincent, and you'll give me another first-round pick? If Gabe Vincent wasn't a 74, I would have kept him, but I'll do it. And now we might have enough money to get Bradley Beal, to be honest with you. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Bradley Beal, there he is. There's the man of the hour. Uh, Omir Yurtsevin. He will require 34 mil. How? If we just got rid of Lowry. Cap holds? No, it shouldn't be cap holds. We, huh. Why do we still have no money? We have money, so how can we not make that trade? That doesn't make much sense. Make much sense at all. So you know what? I'm changing my route. Kyrie Irving. Let's see if we can get Kyrie Irving because, uh, hey, never mind. He's going back to the Nets. Because <laughs> I was going to say, the Nets clearly don't want him back. Or might not want him back. So I guess I'll try and get Zach Levine. He fits our team and he wants a bit less. So you know what? I'll give him 27 mil. I'll definitely give Zach Levine 27 mil to come to the Miami Heat. Let's see if we get, we do not get Zach Levine. That's tragic. Uh, I'll reannounce the rights on all these guys. I don't think Duncan Robinson does anything. Yep, they both accepted another offer. Kind of figured that would happen. And that leaves us with no one. <laughs> no one left. Let's see if anyone... Nope, they all signed. 
All right, maybe now. Can okay, now we get Zach Levine? By, by the way, if I sound stuffy, my allergies are killing me. Not Zach Levine. Uh, yeah, we have... Oh, wait. I think we have to clear up six mil. Let me be honest. Let me fill out my roster with players like an Anthony and Simons for nine mil. Yes, please. All right, we're going to pick up Colin Sexton. Oh, well, now Anthony and Simons uh, doesn't want to accept his offer. Maybe we can throw them in the Bradley Beal trade. Anthony and Simons is on the... Never mind, he's not. The Blazers got a steal. Then acquired 19. Where? How? That's not pop. There ain't no way. What's happening? We have the money. We legit have the money. How is that? That doesn't make any sense. We have the money for Bradley Beal. There's literally no one on our team. That doesn't make any sense, 2K. Why am I not able to trade for Bradley Beal? All right, I filled out the roster as best as I can. Uh, I don't know how people are already pressing. How they get? It. How are you salty? The season just we didn't even started yet. But I filled it out. Colin Sexton, Marvin Bagley, Malik Monk, uh, and Dennis Schroeder is who I grabbed. And I grabbed some young players like Aaron Holiday, Amir Coffey, Metu, because I plan on making a big trade, mainly for a point guard. Probably if I want to keep Tyler Hero, I want to trade for a point guard. So I'm kind of hoping now since the season started, maybe the salary cap crap isn't, uh, you know. All messed up because Colin Sexton and Bagley is enough to get a all-star caliber player. As you can see, Paul George right there. So, Brandon Ingram is the best player that pops up. If that is the case, I'd move Ingram to the 2 or Jimmy to the 2 and Hero to the 1. Which I am fine with, to be honest, because that gives Jimmy another scorer who is under contract for a while. But I do want Bradley Beal. I kind of really want Bradley Beal. I don't think, I don't know, that, that works. That would, that's all we needed to give up? That was it. Marvin Bagley and Colin Sexton. We got Bradley Beal. All right, bet. Tally here was going to the point guard. I wish I knew it would be that easy. Uh, if I could trade like Omir Yurtsevin, Amir Koff, Aaron Holiday, these guys for a solid power forward, because clearly we don't have money. Uh, I will take that. I will definitely take that, so... Let me throw in... I want to keep these three for our bench. Schroeder, Martin, and Struess. So I will throw in... Yurtsfin, Holiday. We kept... Yeah, we kept all of our picks too. So we still got that Spurs pick. We just got Scardy Barnes with Malik Monk, Yurtsfin, and two first round picks. I did not expect that to happen. That's why I wasn't talking. So now we have a lineup of Tyler Hero, Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler, Scotty Barnes... And bam, out of bio. Caleb Martin, Amir Coffey, Aaron Holiday, Schroeder, and Struess off the bench. I'm going to trade Holiday and Coffey for probably a big man. And I am confident with this team, to be honest. I think we can win it all this year. If we can't, um, I am going to be uh, very pissed. Jose Alvarado. I might get Jose Alvarado and uh, trade Dennis Schroeder, to be honest. Dwight Howard as a backup center, I actually really like. Where was this trade? Giving up a first round pick for Dwight Howard doesn't seem the smartest. But I like Dwight Howard better than Dwayne Dedman, to be honest. So I'm going to do that trade. Then I'm going to trade Dedman and Schroeder and see if maybe Alvarado will pop up. Kind of hoping he does. I didn't... Oh, he plays with Pelicans. Uh, and he does. Alvarado and Willie Hernan Gomez. I will definitely do that trade. Oneko Kongu popped up, but I'm going to stick with the way Howard was trying to get him a pick. Not, not a pick. A championship. Jose Alvarado, thank you. Can I trade Willie now for maybe a pick? Can someone just give me a straight-up pick for him? Or do I not have enough players? I might not have enough players. I definitely don't have enough players. Patrick Beverly. I'm not giving up a first for you. Straight up. All right, we got Patrick Beverly. Don't ask why. All right, this is going to be the rotation. Tyler Hero, Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler, Scotty Barnes, and Bam Adebayo. Max Strews, Caleb Martin, Jose Alvarado, Dwight Howard, and Patrick Beverly. I think we had literally the perfect mix of offense and defense, especially off the bench. Max Strews, solid defender, great shooter. Caleb Martin, once again, good defender. He's all right on offense. He's not great. Alvarado, amazing defender. Dwight Howard, pretty good at defense, getting old. And Patrick Beverly, great defense. And on the offensive side, Hero, Beal, Butler when he wants to, Bam when he wants to. 
I think this team is winning it all, to be honest. Uh, system proficiency uh, right here is a four and a half star pace and space. Uh, Eric Spolstra is preferred defense. But I guess we'll go pace and space, and I'll start simulating. Simulate our first game against the Bulls. We lose by six. Huh. Simulate our second game against the Pistons. They will. And we win by only five, though. Jimmy Butler, 20 and 10. Against the Raptors, we end up winning by 20. What did we trade them? Oh, yeah, Malik Monk and Yurtsevin. Uh, Malik Monk's average is 15. Uh, Yurtsevin's not doing much. Precious is balling. Uh, Beal had 30. Uh, I'll simulate this game against the Knicks and I'll simulate the season. And when we win, Tyler Hero with 21. D Rose. All right. I'll see you at the end of the season. All right. Approaching the end of the season now. We are the first seed and we're going to finish that. Luka Dodgers averages 38, 10, and 9 to win MVP. Chet Holmgren is your rookie of the year. Ben Simmons, six man of the year. Rudy Gobert, defensive player of the year, averaging four blocks. Damn. Jalen Noel, most improved. Because I'm getting, yep, he got those Patrick Beverly minutes. And Eric Spolstra, your coach of the year, 57 and 25. And I'm guessing that is our executive all NBA first team is looking like that. We have no one on. Nope. We get Jimmy Butler on all NBA third team. We'll look at his stats later. And we get no one on all defensive teams. Interesting. Uh, looking at the stats for the season. Beal actually led us to score with 20 points, three rebounds, four assists. Butler averaged 20 himself, six rebounds, seven assists, 2.2 steals. And he shot 40% from three, attempting three of them. He shot better than Bradley Beal from downtown. All right. Uh, he shot 60% from the field, too. That's pretty solid. Uh, hero, career high, 17. Actually, that's not career high. He averaged 20. Uh, career high. I said it again. 17 points a game, four rebounds, four assists. We didn't really need him to do the passing because we have Jimmy Butler on our team, but he was our point guard. Bam, down to 15 points, kind of expected. Uh, 10 rebounds, zone five assists. Going back to his uh, all-star yeah, well, his first all-star appearance. Very similar stats. Very, very similar. Uh, Max Drews, 11 points as our sixth man shot. 42% from three. Scotty Barnes, 10 points, five rebounds, four assists, and a steal. Um, as our starting power forward. Caleb Martin, 10 points off our bench. Good shooting. Jose Alvarado, almost a steal and almost a block with 10 points. I'll take it. Dwight Howard, just 70% from the field. Once again, I will take it. Patrick Beverly did nothing. Uh, we will be taking on... The Milwaukee Bucks. How do we how do we end up facing the Milwaukee Bucks in the round one? Scotty Barnes, you got your hands full. Other than that, we're a better team. We win game one by 39. Nope, I did not want to step cast. By 39, we win game two by 29. We win game three. Oh, I thought we were gonna I thought we were gonna get revenge. But we beat him in five. Taking on the fifth seeded. Cleveland Cavaliers were a lot better than this team. I tried taking Mobley from them. I could not. They have Al Horford, though. Uh, in that round one, who led us? Bradley Beal with 24. Hero with 19. Butler finally was able to take a step back. Struess balled out. Uh, I think we're beating this Cavaliers team easily. 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 Wow, we won by a lot in that game. And it's a rematch. I've waited for this. 1-2 matchup once again. Boston Celtics. I want to destroy them. We win game 1 by 26. We lose game 2 by 1. We win game 3 by 2. We're up 3-1 by 4. And we win in 5. All were close games besides game 1. And this is the finals that we should have had. I'm not going to get over it. The Golden State Warriors. Tyler Hero, you have your hands full with uh, Stephen Curry. If I need to, I'll put... Jimmy Butler on him, but I think we're the better team or not. Okay, we win by one. Down 2-1. Series tied 2-2. Won by 30 that game. We're up three games to two. Do not let it go to seven, Miami. And uh, you started off the first quarter terrible like you did in that Boston series. And we're going to lose this game. Yep, we're going to. Oh, we're fighting back. Nope. Nope. We We fought back, but we lost by six. Andre Drummond led them. Andre Drummond led them in scoring. Andre Drummond. We're going to an eight-man rotation. They want to put Tyler here. Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Patrick Beverly ain't even going to play. What are you thinking? 
Max Struess is going to be playing. What are you thinking with these rotations? No, 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 no. This is what we're going to run. Uh, Jimmy Butler, 42 minutes. 40. Where's Bam? You're all going to be working overtime. I can tell you that much. You're all going to be working overtime. And you know what we're going to do? We are going to put Jimmy Butler on uh, Stephen Curry and hope for the best. Steph Curry, where, where is he? Jimmy Butler. Uh, tight and tight because Jim, he's just going to do everything. Game 7, similar with SimCast. I don't want to sim another season. End it here. And we have a terrible end to the first quarter. It's a close game, though. It's a close game. Well, we're up by 10. It's no longer a close game. We blew the door open in that fourth quarter. And we are going to be the NBA champions. Bradley Beal with 37. Hero 24 with 7 assists. Butler shot terrible, but that is fine. What did he do on uh, Curry, though? He did not do nothing on Curry. But we held him 3 for 12 from downtown, so I guess um, defensive adjustments worked. But he still had a great game. But it doesn't matter. Your Miami Heat are your N. NBA champions. Bam out of bio wins finals MVP. 15 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, and 2.5 blocks. And we are your champions. That's going to be it for me. Here's a look at the final roster. I still can't believe it got Beal that easily. He had a great season and a great series. Would he resign? Yep, he, he would have resigned. What about Tower Hero? Uh, he probably would have resigned. That's going to be it for me. Leave a like, guys, enjoy. Subscribe, guys, are new. GG.